Ayo, duckies, Andy Lippy here. Do you use OBS shader filter? You do. What if I told you there was a better version and that it was made by that one plugin guy? Yeah. Excel drone. Let's get into it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't, as it'll help me a lot. Put your rock over the stone. This version of Shader Filter is a fork of the Shader Filter by CERN that you are already probably using. You can download it from Excel Drum's Guild page here or by using the OBS plug installer on the StreamUp website. Download the version you want as it works for Windows, Mac and Linux. Then copy the contents of the zip file into the root of your OBS-Studio folder or you can use the installer. Once installed, you can open OBS and access the filters by right-clicking any source or scene and pressing Filters. Press the plus sign, then hit user defined shader. Then press load shader text from file, browse, then select one of the files that are presented, then open. If the file was a dot effect file, you will need to tick the box above that says use effect file. You can then adjust all the parameters below. If you are enjoying the video, please consider supporting my content either monthly or one off donation in the links below, or just crack those buttons you know so well. So, what's new? This version of Shader Filter Exceldro has made is actually available for Mac and Linux, not just Windows. Now you can access more of the cool things I've been teaching on this channel on your Mac or Linux machines. This will take your streams to the next level. You may have also noticed that when I pressed load shader text from file, it didn't turn the source preview off. I know a lot of people used to get a little confused when that happened. Exceldro also made a few bug fixes too to stop a few crashes that may happen with the OBS shader filter plugin. That reminds me, if you do have OBS crash whilst using this plugin, please feed it back to him with the crash log on his GitHub page. He's pretty pro at fixing stuff and will most likely post an update. Last, but by no means least, this version is packed with extra shaders. A lot of these shaders I have actually mentioned on the channel before, but now you don't have to download them all separately. They just get bundled in this version of shader filter. Some of these shaders are the alpha gaming bent camera effect, VCR and VHS shaders, we've got fisheye shaders and circle shader and just lots more. Trust me, just get this bad boy checked out and get your creative juices flowing. If you liked what I just showed you then press that cheeky thumbs up so I know to make more content like this. If you want to see some more shader filter action click here and for more OBS plugin shenanigans click here. I'll see you over there, put your rock over the stone.